<laughs> left toehold. Yeah. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started here. So hi, Dr. Nikita Visniak with The Amazing. Dr. Lucas McMillan. So today we have an athlete, uh, an elite level athlete who has done a recent inversion ankle sprain. It was quite, quite a significant inversion sprain. What we were looking at is damage to the lateral side of the ankle, but it also included damage to the upper part of the uh, syndesmotic or high ankle as well. So our assessments included palpation, range of motion, and orthopedic rotational stress testing. So we have a pretty good idea that the injury is fairly acute. And even the player described it as the ankle joint felt like it was just rattling around and a little bit loose, where the bones were kind of rattling a bit loose. So this is a prime candidate for prolotherapy. Of course, we're not just going to do prolo. We'll also have rehab exercises and things to follow up with and detailed assessment biomechanically, making sure the joints move okay and the muscles are firing right. But we have to ensure that foundational movement is correct. And a big part of that is making sure there's stability with the ligaments. And that's where we pass it off to Dr. McMillan. Absolutely. So we will be treating uh, three ligaments in this case. So there will be the anterior talofibular ligament. There will be the calcaneofibular ligament and the anterior tibiofibular ligament. So let's begin. <laughs> All right, so performing the second cleaning, we've already cleaned the areas once, but just to be extra safe with this patient, I would like to clean it twice. Okay, we're going to be in the injection procedure. So step one, I do want to treat the anterior talofibular ligaments. to feel a little touch here. So I'm basically injecting 0.1 cc's every time I touch down. So the point here is I want to fenestrate, meaning I want to actually put some very small holes in the existing ligamentous structure, which is going to have two purposes. One, it's going to augment the already present inflammation to encourage healing. And two, with the solution that I'm injecting, it will give it a pathway to travel. So I want to be specific in my injections, but I also want to be sure that I'm hitting everything that I need to hit to actually incite the process of healing. And you probably can't pick it up on the camera, but there is a little bit of a crunching and uh, movement going on underneath. I can assess with the needle. The needle is more than just a tool to actually inject solution. It's actually a way to assess the tissues underneath. So it gives me an idea of what is damaged, how far the damage goes. And I'm basically going to use this needle to find the borders of what needs to be treated. So I'm injecting a very small amount. I'm using just a small 30 gauge needle, basically as small as I can go and still getting the solution into place. Larger joints will use different sizes, but there we are. So, hit one side of the anterior talofib. Feel on to the next side, so a little touch here. And basically the solution is going to be dextrose, which is the prolotherapy aspect of it, and procaine. So procaine is the local anesthetic. Helps to keep the patient comfortable. And this gives us the option to basically pause. If at any time it is uncomfortable, we can actually slow down, let the local anesthetic fully kick in, and then it'll be quite comfortable after. So after the prolotherapy injection, I would expect noticeable results on the patient side after about two weeks. Sometimes we'll see a faster result, but after about the two week period, I would expect the changes to begin. So here we are back again, the treatment has been completed. Dr. McMillan is going to add a little bit more to it though, what we want to follow up with. Absolutely. So an important aspect of prolotherapy is the follow-up. It's not just the simple injections and then okay, we'll see you later. We actually have to have a conversation about what to expect, how long the treatment's going to last for, and what it's going to feel like from the patient perspective. So first off, because of what we're injecting, it's both dextrose and lidocaine or procaine, and we would expect the joint to be somewhat numbed out. Basically, the local anesthetic is going to make it feel heavy, make it feel different. Oftentimes, immediately after the treatment, the patients feel, wow, this is amazing. I, I'm healed, I'm cured, I, I feel much better. That's not really the case right off the bat. We're trying to incite a long-term healing process. And that's, and that's a really important point right there is, how long does the healing process last for this? Uh, for this, up to six months. Some studies suggest that you'll continue to see a 
progressive increase in joint stability and ligament growth up to six months. And this is huge because a lot of people will feel they'll feel a functional recovery, but they don't have a full structural recovery yet. And they'll go and be too active or be doing too much activity, too much motion with it and actually cause further injury and kind of take you back down the, back down the pathway again, right? Exactly. Yeah. If I'm going to have to retreat, I don't want it to be because the person basically was too aggressive with their ankle or with whatever ligaments were damaged. We need to take steps to progressively build them back up and definitely don't want to use it aggressively in the next two to three days immediately after treatment because in effect we are inciting a local inflammatory reaction that we are using to heal that part of the body. Inflammation isn't always a bad thing, we need it to actually put these pieces back together. The point of prolotherapy is to induce a type of inflammation to lay down the collagen and original fibers that we would have found in the damaged ligaments. So we're trying to regrow and strengthen the original healthy tissue. Yeah. Excellent. And the only other thing we're going to add to it is that, of course, your basic rehab is also going to come into play with this. You want to make sure there's good muscle strength, proprioceptive firing patterns, good joint mobilizations are still occurring in the correct directions. And you do that in conjunction with your prolotherapy, even nutrition, botanicals, to make sure that you have optimal function when you're completing your treatment for the best recovery for the patient. Exactly. This is one piece of the puzzle that you can get amazing results with it if you pair it with the rest. The person has the adequate building blocks to actually put those structures back together. You can see amazing outcomes. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Dr. McMillan. Thank you. Okay.